Hello everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. Today we'll be doing a Celtic design. So we'll be creating this, which is made up of six Trinity knots. And another name for them is Triketra, but they're joined at the top. For this project, I'm using a piece of A4 300 GSM watercolour paper. It's not a particularly expensive brand. And then I'm going to draw around some triangles. These are Zentangle 3Z tiles. If you don't have any of those, they're an equilateral triangle and each side is 3.5 inches. Now I've measured half a centimeter distance from one triangle to the other and I'm doing this all the way around until I formed a hexagon. I'm now marking off a one centimeter border all the way around the edge. I'm now rounding off the corners so that it matches the triangles in the center. Cut that out so now I have this hexagon shape. I'm going to use watercolor paints to paint in a back, the background on these triangles. So before I begin, I'm just going to mix up some paint of the colors that I want. And I'm going to use yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green. The first thing I'm going to do is wet one of the triangles. So completely fill that area with water, clean water. And this is called the wet on wet method. So now that that area is wet, I'm going to use this little pipette, or you could use an eyedropper or even a paintbrush and drop in some of the paint. So I'm using two colors in each triangle, this one yellow and orange, and I can soak up any of the excess moisture with a Q-tip or a cotton tip. Use a paintbrush to just neaten up the edges. On this second triangle, I'm using orange and red, but I can see that I've left it a little bit too long and my paint has dried up a bit. You can see how that red is rushing into the orange. So I might just have to add a little bit of water and mix that along. So that's what happens if your paper isn't wet enough when you drop in this color. But not to worry, I'll just use my paintbrush and fill in the gaps. Neaten it up a little bit around the edges. And for the next one, I'll use red and purple and work my way around the color palette in that method. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'll just demonstrate how to draw that triquetra 
design. So go up one side almost halfway and draw an arc. Same on the other side. So it's the same thing on each side and you can see where they intersect is roughly halfway along each line. So once I've got those three curves drawn I'm then going to do an aura and keep these roughly the same width the part and you'll find that they meet then at the end. When I go to ink this design I can start anywhere and you can see I'm doing this ribbon over and then at the next line it will go under. So if you follow that basic rule over then under and if you get lost on where you're going just look at what you did on the last stroke. If you went over with your ribbon, then the next one will go under, just like weaving. So that's our basic trinity knot. And once we're finished, we can go in with the eraser and remove all those pencil lines. Now that my paint is dry, I'm going to pencil in on each one of those triangles that same design. To join these together, I'm now going to just follow that bottom line and take it across to the next triangle and the same with the top. Do this at the centre of each of these triangles. So follow that bottom curve, 
So it makes it almost like a circle shape. Do that on each one. You can see I've already drawn these lines. I'll just show you where I've drawn them. The, unfortunately the camera wasn't on when I did them, but you can see how I did it. So now I'm going to use a Micron PN and I'm starting in the center, just drawing those little curves, stopping when I get to a line and that will start us off for the weaving under and over. So if I start now from one triangle, I've gone over. So when I hit that line, it's going to go under. Just the same as we did before. So that's gone under, so now it'll go over. And that continues all the way along, under and over. I want those ribbons to flow from one triangle to the next so I'm just touching up those little gaps with the same colours that I used in each of the triangles. I'm going to fill each of those interior sections with tipple. I did have some problems with my Micron pen getting clogged up. So I'm trying this Uniball Eye. It's a fine liner and it's permanent ink but it seems to be gliding along the surface quite nicely. It's a little bit like using a gel pen. If you use a light touch, it glides along really well, but if you press it a little bit too hard, you might find that it gets those little sticky marks. But I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. Now I'm going to use my watercolor pencils I'm just going to shade where this pattern overlaps and I'm using the darker of the two colors from the actual watercolor paint that I originally did in each square.
that pen seems to be running a little bit but I'm not sure if I've left it long enough to dry anyway it's a good idea to test your pens before you start if you find that your pen does run a little bit just save the inking till right at the end once your paint is dry Now I'm going to add some highlights using a white charcoal pencil. So just put it in the middle of each of those strips and then blend it in with a tortillon. So there's the finished result. 
Now I'll just add my initials. How did you go with that? I hope you had fun. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to become a member of my Facebook group, there's a link below this video. And until next week, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, there are some links here on the screen or head over to my channel. And don't forget while you're here, hit that subscribe button.